Hello everyone, it's Sir Mr. Cherries here and today on this GUI tutorial, which is number three I guess, we're going to be learning about key down. So basically we want to make the GUI appear when we press down the key, such as Q or E, Z, X or C, something like that. Uh, mostly when you play stuff like uh, RuneScape or World of Warcraft, I'm definitely not sure, I've never played these games. So. Basically what key down is, it's a name of an event and it is fired when a key is pressed down. So I pretty much explained what you do. So you press either Q or E, blah blah blah, any type of um, letter that you press down. Um, most of you find it hard to be quite honest. Uh, let me just get a GUI, let me make a GUI first of all because I'm pretty sure you know, uh, you all know how to make a GUI. So um, most of you find key down quite hard. Well. It's easy, <laughs> so I'll show you the simple way of doing key down. So, and uh, we're going to be using it in our local script. So uh, I'll just use uh, key down GUI. I'll just call it. Um, the matter of fact, you don't really need a text button for that, but you do need a frame because we want to make it appear as we press down the key. So no, nope, no need for a text button. So I'll make a, I just call it a box. I like to name something which I wouldn't, which I'll never forget. <laughs> so let me just make a random size. So my apologies if I'm not talking. Hit free in. Yeah, that'll do the work. And then we'll just make it a bit transparent. We'll put a, oh, forget that. Put a border pixel with it as well. And then do zero point three the transparency. And then you can just put in a text label, put in something that you like. So yeah, let's put in a local script. It's basically what we're gonna use. <sighs> and that's why I use uh, always use for my GUIs. <laughs> but uh, unless I could use a script for like something, well, not nice. And, not as big, you know. <sighs> okay. So, <clears throat> I need to think how it starts out. So, we'll do GUI first of all, script.parent. Actually, first of all, I need to do, I need to, uh, the other variables which you need for key down. So, it's player game dot players dot local player. And then the other bit which we haven't used, we do mouse. This is the get mouse we're gonna be using. So you do player, and with colons get mouse. So there we have it. So we'll do the frame. Actually, just do box. Gy dot box. Open false. So this is basically a debounce we're gonna be using. So we stop the script from running too many times. Right, uh, function uh, press Q. You could do so, do and then remember to put key in there because we're going to make an if statement out of that. So, if you if you don't put something like that in, then it probably won't work. So, remember to use key inside that bracket next to that function name. So, the function is called press Q with key in brackets. So we'll make an if statement if in brackets how I always do that key is it equal in speech marks to Q do that so in brackets so it says if in brackets key is equal to Q with speech marks in brackets then um, yeah yet to me to do another if statement if open is equal to false then and then we'll do stuff basically like this do stuff it's basically what I'll put if you're just making a start if I'm just making starter kits out of it but right now you're just learning how key down is gonna work oh sorry box dot visible true just go do that open true and then we'll make an else if statement 
else if open is equal to true then uh, box oh sorry about that box not visible false then same for this debounce false and then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the um we're gonna put in an event so we do mouse from the variable dot key down name of the event then next to that event we put connect and then the function or the name of the function you put in press Q so basically you must have learned that from my function and events video so now we're gonna test it oh crikey sorry I just made a mistake I need to make it invisible so hopefully this works Oh, hang on a sec. Oh, stupid staff. All right, there we go. So I'm pressing Q. So if I press it once, that comes up. If you press it again, it it goes away. So um, it's it's not hard to do really. So it's basically easy. Well, some of you would think it's sorry. It's hard for everyone to make key down events, but you know it's easy to do. So basically, I've did it by myself without looking in any other script. <clears throat> but but I had to look at the Roblox wiki, but it didn't even make sense for me as well, as I do have a little thought processing problem to be quite honest. So oh, do you like my Iron Doom bucket? Hmm, it's really fancy, isn't it? Just went limited, quite um, maybe about yesterday. It it went limited yesterday. I'm so happy, man. It's around 20k. Um, not sure how much it is in rap. Now, anyways, if you guys find this video helpful, as I did a key down bit, which really works. Um, if you if you if you couldn't see the script, well, let me, let me uh, open up the script for you guys so that you can just pause the video and have a look what I've did there. Oh. So here you are. You can pause the video and copy the script down. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give this a like and a comment and subscribe if you want, and I can bring more videos out. But um, the matter of fact, I might I might uh, uh sorry. <laughs> I might not do a lot of videos, uh, a lot of tutorials, because I'm basically getting bored of doing them. But I'm not going to quit doing them, be quite honest. I might come back to making more. But just a matter of fact, I have school on Wednesday. So basically, I start Wednesday. So the thing is, I might not make a lot of more videos. But you can still subscribe to me. If, if you want to unsubscribe, it's, it's all right. I don't even care. Well, I'll keep making more videos if I could. So... Yeah, I'll I'll keep making more if if I have the time. Now, thank you for watching, guys. If this video helped you, give it a like and a comment. I I did say that already, but you know, just a reminder. <laughs> right. <clears throat> thank you for watching and goodbye.